Jeff Fischel here at the ACC Digital Network with Giovanni Bernard via Skype today. Bernard announced he's going to the NFL. All right, Gio, what's it feel? How's it feel like to tell the world you're headed to the NFL? Um, it feels great. It feels like you know, almost like a recruiting process from high school, kind of getting it out there, kind of getting all that you know that pressure off you. Um, for the most part, you know, I'm excited to kind of take the next step into my life and uh, you know, kind of flip over a page, kind of go to the next chapter of my life, and uh, I'm just excited for it. So tell all these Tarfield fans how you decided to go pro. Um, you know, I think it was mostly fulfilling a dream, you know, that I've had ever since I was a little kid and uh, kind of playing in the NFL has been a dream of mine, you know, ever since, you know, I was in the backyard playing football with friends and, uh, you know, just to be able to have that opportunity in front of me, you know, having pretty good odds and, you know, you're getting drafted pretty high. And uh, for me, you know, it, it, it's not about where I get drafted, it's more so, you know, fulfilling a dream that I've had. And, um, you know, I'm just excited for it. Right, because you're saying you haven't heard from the NFL yet about where you might go. Yeah, I haven't heard so much, but I mean, you know, through speculations and things like that, you know, through, you know, Coach Fedora kind of giving me, you know, a heads up, uh, you know, you said third round, second round, you know, things like that. But for me, you know, it's kind of going in there, fulfilling a dream, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, just experiencing it and see how it goes. Yeah, Coach Fedora says you're a great ambassador for Tar Heel football. How helpful has he been in this process? Um, I mean, he's been, you know, tremendously helpful. And, uh, you know, first, first day after the game, uh, after the Maryland game, that Sunday, um, you know, he was never a type of, you know, coach to really kind of pressure me to come back. It was more so I'm going to be a resource, you know, help you out in your decision. You know, it's your life, it's your decision. And uh, that's the kind of mentality he gave me. And, uh, I mean, he's helped me out through this entire process, and I thank him very much for it. Yeah. Now, if you had come back, you probably could have been a Heisman candidate. Were you thinking about that when you were making your decision? Definitely. I mean, you, you grow up, I mean, that's another thing. You, know, you grow up kind of, you know, wanting to win the Heisman and things like that, you know, kind of getting these national awards. And, uh, but for me, you know, these, you know, the opportunities, you know, that I have set forth me and, uh, you know, I, I kind of just kind of want to fulfill them. You know, I, these opportunities are very hard to pass. Um, you know, I'm just excited to kind of go into the next chapter of my life. You know, I, hopefully I left a good, you know, footprint here at UNC and uh, hopefully I can you know, go on and uh, hopefully do the same thing at the NFL level. Sure. Now, you don't know which NFL team is going to take you. The draft's a ways away. But is there a team you'd like to end up on? I know you're a Miami guy. <laughs> uh, there's not really, you know, I think it's whatever team that picks me will be my new favorite team. You know, <laughs> I've never been a type of guy to really, you know, have a favorite team. Uh, you know, it'll definitely be my favorite team, whoever picks me up. But, uh, you know, it, it's, just a, it's just a dream. You know, to be able to, you know, play in the NFL, you know, for, you know, whatever team it may be, it's going to be a dream. Sure. Um, just excited to kind of go into it, you know, with an open mind and just kind of see where it happens. Now, you had a torn ACL, and you missed a couple of games earlier this season. Did injuries weigh in, into your decision? Uh, not much. I mean, you, you play the game of football, you, injuries are a part of it, you know. You never really have control of things like that. You know, I try to control the things that I can control, and uh, don't worry about the things that I can't control. And uh, injuries are another thing, you know, that I can't really control. And uh, for me, you know, injuries, you know, that's just a part of games. You know, you're in practice, you can get injured. It doesn't matter where you are. Playing the game of football, injuries are going to happen. Uh, but for me, you know, that didn't really weigh in too much. But, you know, for me, I just really just wanted to kind of go in and uh, kind of fulfill a dream. Now, I think I might know the answer to this, but give me your favorite moment as a Tar Heel. Honestly, uh, a lot of people say the state game, but that's, I mean, that's not, not the my punt favorite. return? Not, not, not the punt return. All right, what is it then? Uh, my favorite one is probably the first two carries that I ever had here at UNC. My first carry was 10 yards, and then my next carry was a touchdown. So, uh, I mean, that, that kind of testimony, I mean, it, it's just, I, Leading up to that game, leading up to those two runs, I had a lot going on in my life. And uh, just to kind of be able to do that at such a high level, um, I mean, uh, that, that was a world to me. So, Well, Giovanni Bernard, that was just the start of a great couple of seasons in the backfield for the Tar Heels. Congratulations. You're on your way to the NFL. Know you're going to be great in the NFL. Gio, great Thank job. You. Thank you very much. I'm Jeff Michelle. You're watching the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.